Speaking of heroes, I used to be a superhero a long, long time ago. I'm serious. No, I didn't have super strength or super speed. In fact, I wasn't very super at all. I was the average, everyday superhero. A normal guy who risked his life for the well-being of others. No, I wasn't a police officer or a paramedic. I wasn't even a firefighter. I didn't receive any recognition for my sacrifices. In fact, no one even knew that we existed. We were behind the scenes heroes, so to speak. What we? Oh, I forgot to mention. I wasn't alone. I was on a team of superheroes. Six members, six specialties, same mission. Simone, AKA Scope. She used to freelance as an independent defense contractor. Isaac, AKA Shadow, ex-Marine. Led reconnaissance missions all over the world. Tanner, AKA Tech, the Nader's prodigy. A wizard with electronics. Evelyn, AKA Sharp, ex-assassin turned vigilante, who on this day filled in as our enforcer because Benjamin, AKA Zeus, ex-street fighter slash martial artist. He decided to serve our country another way, trying to bring home a gold medal in the Olympics. And then there's me, Xavier, Agent X, ex-commander of every major and minor form of American military. Together we are NERF, the National Emergency Response Force, one big, happy family. Good shot. Nest. What? No, that's a perfect bullseye. I wasn't aiming for the target. Oh, <laughs> very funny. Still, you are still working on that little toy car, man. What's it been? <laughs> Three months? When on earth do you plan on finishing that thing? Same time you get out of the 70s. Oh, okay. It's very funny, very funny, guys. Everybody's just full of jokes today, huh? Very mature. Well, don't worry, I guess I'll have to be the bigger man here today. Nah, too easy. Can I help you? Oh, come on, not you too. Not right now, I have three more targets. How about you let me get those targets? You? Yeah, I don't miss. I'll tell you what. Three shots, three targets. If I hit them all, then you have to go to that new Italian restaurant with me downtown. And if you lose, I cut your fro. <laughs> but you're serious. No, no, it's not gonna happen, you know. Nah. <laughs> Are you scared? No, oh, I'm not scared, you know. There's a lot of things that can happen, you know. The gun could jam, or, you know, the wind. So we got a deal or not? Fine. Yeah. Whoa, you hear that? We gotta go get that. <laughs> Nerf. Glad to see you're all doing well. We have an emergency. Walcroft has resurfaced, and he's formed an alliance with the unknown assailant. We've intercepted chatter that he's planning to break into a top secret government facility. The Whitmore building is home to a piece of technology called the Sound Rifter device. We don't know exactly what it does, but if Walcroft's planning an all-out assault, then it can't be good. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, 
as if you have a choice. It's to break into the Whitmore building and get to the Sound Rifter device before Volkoff does. How credible is the threat? Very. Our analysts have authenticated and confirmed that it's Volkoff's voice. We've heard talks of explosives and high-tech machinery. And Volkoff, as you know, is very unpredictable. You must act fast. Retrieve the Sound Rifter device. I'll get ready. Close. Now how many times has my fro saved our lives? It still has to go. Oh, come on, you were serious? Yes. I sneezed. All right, do over. No, I got this. I won't even look. All right, and when you miss, we get to go to dinner and I get to keep my fro. Starting it juicy. Remember last time? We're on a schedule. Let's go. All right, all right. Shadow, you're up. It's not funny. You're taking too long. Well, you know what would help me out? Some space. Sharp to stop playing around. What? There's a time and place for everything. Please. I'm trying to work. Leave me. Hey! Yeah, of course. 
I mean, they tell us if something was wrong, right? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, there's a palm scanner. I, I could fool the system, but I'll need. What? Oh, 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 that's disgusting. What? What are you. Oh. Got it. You go on ahead. Meet up with Tech and Sharp. I'll catch you later. Take my lucky gun. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for the activator codes. I'm still encrypting. How much time do we have? 13 seconds, we're not gonna make it. Can't we just start over? No, we need a new security card. Ah, oh, the security at the Whitmore building is top notch. They change guards every hour. And each guard has his own security clearance. <sighs> Wait, let me check the ship schedule. Uh, it says here, oh, a new guard actually came in. Probably while we're waiting for tech, huh? <laughs> um, let's see. All right, this is great. So if we just uh, split up into three or four teams, we can search the building top to bottom. What's this? Security card. How'd you? Got it. Uh, yeah, the security code is Alpha Charlie 763. Got it. Thank 
Survivors. They're, they're Are you there? What, where is they're everyone? Dead. Everyone. Are you sure? Everyone is right in front of me. Did you retrieve the sound of the device? We couldn't. Xavier. It was a setup. No. We were the Do only you know team that could have broken in that building and they knew it. They just waited for us and then they took us out. Calm Stop. down. Where are you? So stupid. I'm sending someone to get you. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Xavier. L let me help you. Let me help you. Sorry. Jim, more on the incident that has rocked downtown Brooklyn, New York. It has been confirmed that an ex it is an explosion that is in question here. Uh, now, the target of the of the incident was an, an, an unidentified building. Back to the coverage of the downtown crisis. But first, breaking news. We just received word that there was an explosion in Beijing. Superstar and gold medalist Benjamin Carter died in this explosion. He was destined. Agents, this was not a gas leak. This was a set-up, planned act of terror. Agent, something's going on and we need to get to the bottom of it. My partner was killed on Tuesday. I was supposed to be working and she covered for me and now she's dead. Three days later, we have a bombing. It was supposed to be me, guys. She was a rookie. 
just getting their sea legs killed. We have to find out who's doing this and why. Oh, hey, boss. Xavier, my office. Sure thing, boss. Progress report. Sure thing, boss. Um, sales are up 3% this quarter. Injuries caused by our darts have decreased 0.9%. However, there was a serious injury. It says here a small child lost an eye. And what are we doing to prevent this? Um, well, I had a meeting scheduled with the Safer Toys Corporation. Um, however, um, my alarm clock didn't work this morning and I kind of missed the bus. But we postponed it until the 20th. Again, you missed another important meeting. Sorry, boss. Do you like working at Xavier? That was the question. Yes, yes, boss. It's a good job. What's the end game, Xavier? Where do you see yourself in five years? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, I guess. Probably working here for you, boss. <laughs> <laughs> so your dream, your ambition, is not to get ahead, but continue to work under someone else's supervision. Didn't you have any dreams as a child? Yeah, I had dreams. And this, is you fulfilling your dreams? I guess, boss. You guess? I don't know what to do with you, Xavier. What do you mean, boss? I don't know what I'm going to do with you. And stop calling me boss. Too formal for my liking. My name is just fine. I'm sorry, boss. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to get used to you it. You need to get some ambition. Oh, we finish here. Hey. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, all right, I guess. Oh. Old Mr. Sanders ripped you a new one today, huh? <laughs> Nothing new. It doesn't bother me. He's just being himself. Yeah, a jerk. I'm just saying, you shouldn't have to take this day in and day out. Yeah, I know. You're right. You know what? I'm going to tell him that. Hmm. I'm going to go straight in, walk right into his office, and? And let him have it. <laughs> uh, you are a funny guy, Xavier. But seriously, I'm just saying, you should just go in there and show them. No mercy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, wait, by the way, before you go in, I got another letter for you right here. It's unmarked. I still don't know who it's from. Oh, uh, it's, it's nothing. Uh, thanks, though. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. It's just an old friend. 
Reminds me of a life I used to live. It's just an old girlfriend, you know, she's crazy. <laughs> I'm just trying to get away, you know? You are a strange man, Xavier. <laughs> well, all right, bud. Hey, and you tell me if you are returning to that previous life of yours, huh? Yeah, take care, Yanni. Hey, what are you doing? Watch out! What? Xavier? What? <laughs> Xavier, what are you doing? I could have killed you. Well, thanks for not. <laughs> well, I, I tried to talk to you after the meeting, but you left so quickly. What, what was it about? Was he trying to get under your skin again? It's, it's, it's nothing. We were just catching up, you know. Uh, it's fine. How are you? I'm, I'm great. <laughs> Just got back from the gym. Went to go pick up some bananas for some strawberry banana smoothies. Look at you. All working out and <laughs> eating healthy now. Uh, I don't know. It soothes me, I guess. It lets my mind wander free. Plus, it's, it's been kind of tough these past couple of months without... I'm sorry. I know your brother meant a lot to you. Yeah, he did. Still does. But... I'm coping. Plus, you know, these new hobbies are, you know, helping. I think I'm progressing pretty well. You would know this if you've been coming to the group sessions. Uh, I've tried, but I've, I've been kind of busy, you know. I haven't had much time lately. Xavier, Dr. Rosen's worried about you. He says that you always get this way around this time of the year. It's fine, thanks, though. I should really get going. Oh, oh wait. Do, do you want to ride? I, I don't mind. Uh, no, thanks. I'm fine. I can walk. Are, are you sure? Yeah, thanks, though. W wait. I have an idea. I don't think either of us should be alone tonight. How about I'll go home and you go home. I'll get dressed and come over later. And you can make dinner with those groceries. Oh, so... The deal that you're proposing involves me doing all the work. <sighs> well, do you really want me to get back in the kitchen again? Good point. Yeah. How about you make smoothies for dessert and you got yourself a deal? <laughs> Sounds good. Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. <laughs> all right. Nobody <laughs> better. <laughs> You're too much, Xavier. And then I said, nacho cheese? <laughs> like, not yours? <laughs> you are so silly. Oh, mm. I am stuffed. Xavier, this was delicious. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Enjoyed it? <laughs> Lasagna has never tasted this delectable. You've outdone yourself. Thanks. It was Simone's favorite too. She loved Italian food. Simone? <laughs> who's, who's Simone? Oh, um... <laughs> New girlfriend. <laughs> Is that why you've been missing therapy sessions? No, it's, it's not like that. It's... She, she passed a, a few years ago. Was it serious? 
Sorry to hear that, Xavier. Really. I um, hope I'm not out of line here, but uh, why don't you ever talk about her? At the therapy sessions, I mean. I mean, when I opened up about Larry, it helped. It felt uplifting, you know? The group's really supportive. Larry, I thought your brother's name was Steven. Oh, it is. Um, Larry is just what I call him. It's his middle name. It's sort of a family thing. Everyone called me Francine. I hated it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, enough about me. More about you. Open up to me. Tell me about Simone. I want to hear everything about her. Everything? Well, um, she's, uh, her name's Simone. Uh, she's amazing. She's smart. She's beautiful. Uh, her favorite color was red. She loved roses. She loved having fun. Like we could literally make a game out of anything. She was really good at winning bets too. Sometimes too good. She had this tough outer shell. She always pushed people away. But the more she tried it with me, the closer we became. She was just so full of energy. She brought so much life to our team. Oh, she was so skilled too. She like never missed a shot in her entire career. Never missed a shot? Wait, <laughs> what team are you talking about? Oh, um, uh, basketball. Uh, she was really good. It was our company team. <laughs> oh, well we should start a team of our own at the job. I'm not so bad myself. I can hoop it up with the best of them. A hoop it up? Yeah. <laughs> what? No? I think you're just scared. Was that her necklace? Oh, uh, yeah. She left it here before she passed. Wearing it just reminds me that it all was real, you know? Yeah. I know what you mean. Is that her jewelry box? Yeah. Oh. Why did she leave all her jewelry with you? It was more of an excuse to come see me again. She was prideful. Wow. This is beautiful. Yeah, uh, she gave that to me on our uh, second date, I believe. Is that so? It's really nice. Do you, um, do you mind if I ask how she died? Long story. She died in a... What? Did you hear that? What? Um, no, I, I didn't, I didn't hear anything. Um, but it, it's getting kind of late. I should, I should probably get going. What? Yeah, um, thanks so much for dinner. Um, I'll, I'll see you at work. Wait. Yeah. Good. Have a good night. Bye. Yo. You got some explaining to do. Oh, Yannick, what's happening? <laughs> How could you keep it from me, Xavier? You know, I thought we were friends like this. Whoa. And all this time, I didn't even know whoa, who you whoa, are. Whoa, whoa, relax. Have a seat. What are you even talking about? I opened one of those letters. What letter? What letter? The same letters that get delivered here every day. The unmarked ones. You opened my mail? You do know that's against the law, right, Mr. Postman? Yeah? Well, so is negligence, false impersonation, and lying. Lying is not against the law. It is to a friend. I can't believe you, Xavier. If that even is your real name. It is my real name. Or is it maybe Agent X? 
Yeah. You know, here I am, thinking you're some lonely, depressed, blue-collar worker. And you're some super spy. I'm not. Not anymore. I've given that part of my life up. Yeah? So how does one retire from the spy biz, huh? Huh? It's complicated. Have you ever made a difference in someone's life? Have you ever saved someone's life, the world? Yeah, plenty of times. So who are you to decide that their lives don't need your attention anymore, huh? What kind of man would do that? Well, and who are you to judge me, all right? I served my time. I gave them the best years of my life, and what do I have to show for it, huh? Nothing. I have nothing left. So don't you dare judge me when you know nothing about me. And who are you, huh? Mr. Saving Lives is so important that I'm gonna what? Become a mailman? You wanna know why I became a mailman? So my grandfather served in the Navy, right? And he's stationed overseas. One day, his ship gets attacked. Whole thing splits in half. First half, with the communications, goes down first. So, no contact with the outside world. He starts writing a letter. In it, detailed descriptions. Coordinates, tidal patterns, everything they need to find him. He tosses it overboard. My grandfather and three other men made it to shore safely. And they waited there on an island for four months. Meanwhile, a little boy picks up the letter my grandfather chucked overboard, opens it up, and that letter saves his life. Now imagine what would have happened if that letter never got delivered. So I devoted my life to delivering letters to people all over the world. Because you never know what one letter could do to save someone's life. Crazy. Did, did this really happen? No. But imagine if it did, huh? That'd be amazing. You know, the power to save someone's life in my own hands. I'm not lucky enough to have that. But you are. You are, Xavier. And I can't believe you're not going to take advantage of that. So I'm reading in this letter that this, I don't know, Danita guy says that uh, Volcroft or whatever is resurfaced. He's looking for some, uh, what is it, sound rifter device. He says, you're the only one who can stop him. Volcroft? Yeah, that's it. Who is he? He's the man who, who killed my team. Nerf, as we were called. We were a group of six specialists, and we were tasked with keeping the world safe. Quick, quiet, and efficient. That was our motto. So what happened? We were set up. So we received intel that Volcroft was planning on breaking into a secure government building to steal the sound with the device. So, we decided it would be best if, you know, we break in first and retrieve the device before he could get his hands on it. So, it turns out that was exactly what he wanted us to do. He knew that we were the only team that could have possibly broken into that building. He used it to his advantage. He waited. He ambushed us. Killed my entire team. You know, I'm sorry to hear that, Dave. Truly, I am. But that doesn't mean that you should just give up. Even if I wanted to, I don't have my team. I'm not that man anymore. So you're just gonna give up. You're gonna let this ball cough guy just go and walk free. And you're not gonna do a thing about it. Can't do anything about it. 
You know, I was wrong about you. You're no hero. <laughs> You're just a coward. Some leader you are. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Yeah, this lighting is so great. Yeah, it's a great it's restaurant. Yeah. Glad you agreed to come with me. You know I'm difficult. You look beautiful today. Thanks. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Verona's grand opening Italian restaurant. Family owned and operated. My name is Damian. I will be with you shortly. Thank, Thank you. you. He's nice. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> what was his name? Damian. Oh, okay. What are you thinking about getting? Um, let's see. The, mm, the three cheese lasagna looks really well. Lasagna's good. Mm -hmm. How about you? I'll give you one guess. <laughs> Spaghetti and meatballs? You know me well. <laughs> I do. I know that you love Italian food. Uh-huh. And also know that you love roses. Yes. And you know that I love you. So, what better way to spend the night than combining all three? And hopefully, forever. Simone, would you do me the honor? being my wife. Yes. <laughs> oh, it looks so beautiful on you. This would be so nice. We don't have a lot of time. A lot of time? What do you mean? We don't have another mission for like three days. No! No! Did you think about our conversation last night? Well, Xavier, I thought about it. What am I going to do with you? Look around. You see everyone hard at work. Now, I know this isn't the most ideal job in the world, making darts. But my workers are happy. They dedicated. This is what they want to do. And they happy doing it. They happy and making me money, Xavier, makes me happy. And then there's you, walking around with the, oh, I'm such a loser, such a loser face. There's no fire, no passion, no drive to be something more. Xavier, if you don't get this drive to be something more, you're going to always remain parked in failure. I'll tell you what, when you go home tonight, I want you to think. Think about the last time. You were truly happy. Zavin then asked yourself, is this really what I want to do? And if your answer is yes, come back tomorrow with a new attitude. But if your answer is no, then you just stay home. Because obviously this isn't for you. Follow your passion. You don't have many talents. I know that. But Zavin, there has to be one thing one thing out there for you and I do hope you find it. What? You fired.
Xavier. This is Debater. I know you don't want to hear from me after the loss of your team and all. I'm sorry about that. But we have another emergency. Walcroft has resurfaced. He's still in possession of the Sound Rifter device. He hasn't been able to operate it because it was damaged during the attack on the Whitmore building. However, our intel shows that he's enlisted the help of a foreign scientist, and they've almost reprogrammed it. Walcroft can't. He just can't be allowed to reconfigure the Sound Rifter device. He's tried five years to get to this point, and just imagine the damage that he could do with it. Please, Xavier, think of this as revenge. Revenge for your team. Don't let their losses be in vain. We're depending on you. The whole world is. to the end zone for Ken Brown Tompkins. Leaping! He's got it! He's got it! He's
You'll never guess who just walked right up to our front door In the flesh Not yet, just roughed him up a little What you mean I can't kill him? That wasn't part of the deal, he get your advice, I get him What? A ring? I don't see no ring came to your senses. You know, I bet the world's a much safer place now that you got that, that uh, sound of the device, right? <laughs> well, come on. Come on, man. You, you, you got the device, right? Does it look like I won the battle? No, 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 wait. This is the great Agent Xavier we're talking about right here. We're having to get the job done quickly, quietly, and uh, efficiently. I don't know, man. <laughs> you don't know. Come on, what happened to Nerf? You guys were a great team. Exactly. Team. We're a team, man. A family. I was only the planner. My job was to plan the mission start to finish. Get us in, get us out. I never had to be the tactical guy. I'm not a fighter. What kind of secret agent, you know? Can't even handle himself in a fight. I mean, imagine James Bond. Without the formal combat training, the gadgets, the tech, the cars, the women, the look. Hey, Xavier, look. You got one thing that James Bond doesn't have. You got me. Is that right? Come on, man, your very own sidekick. You're crazy. <laughs> that I may be. But that's all you need, right? You, know, you just need a sidekick, someone to you know, bounce some ideas off of. Now listen up, I've been looking into this here sound register device, right? So it copies the sound. But it doesn't only copy the sound, it copies the sound wave perfectly, right? All right, now get this. Let's say the president's making a speech, right, on one of those uh, televised broadcasts. Now, you put the sound ripped up to the screen, catches one word from the president, and you can copy his voice completely. Yeah. It's no April Fool's joke we're talking about here, Xavier. This is blackmail, identity theft. Uh, with one word, this guy Volkroff can start a whole nuclear war. You can't let that happen. You can't let that happen, that's right. But you know what we gotta do. Yeah, we gotta go back in there. We're gonna get that sound ripped, and if Volkroff tries to fight us, we're gonna fight him right back. And we're not gonna show him no mercy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How do you suppose we do that? Huh. Well, I don't know. You're the genius. You come up with a plan. Let's see what I can come up with. Uh. Uh, that's right. Back in business. Uh -huh. I love it. Hey, you said you found the guy who created it, right? Sure did. Then think you can go talk to him? Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. You think you'll help us out? Uh, uh, well, that might be a little bit more complicated. 
You see, uh, he's kind of... Mm, how do I put this? No. The guy is completely nuts! Grains, vegetables, a healthy diet is important for our patients. I'm sorry. <laughs> get a little excited during visitors day. We don't really get too many folks today. <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Our patients here are not as crazy, I hate that word, as people tend to believe. Sure, we have our occasional psychopath, serial killer, but <laughs> this is America. Who doesn't know a crazy person or two? <laughs> I mean, take my ex-girlfriend for instance. Woo! She put the cook and cry. Okay, sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's see. You're interested in patient number 2297? Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Um, he's been with us for five years. Multiple personality disorder. And, uh, yeah, no progress has been made. Ooh. Yeah. So he's been acting up recently. A lot of minor incidences. I a thing too alarming. Nothing too alarming, you know. Yeah, too okay. All right. Well, let's let's you know let's just squash all the fear. Here's here's the deal. Now you're welcome to see him. However, um, just don't get him too excited or riled up. Don't talk about cotton candy, it's a trigger word. You can avoid that in the conversation, probably okay. Um, in the event that he does become unstable, there's a couple of uh, emergency switches, one under the chair, one under the table. It's actually one on the wall, it almost blends in with the wall, it's kind of hard to see. But you know, stick to your basic training, always keep a route of exit, you back to the door, stuff like that, that, you know. But, but don't worry about that. that. That rarely, never, sometimes, seldomly, occasionally never happens. You know, just give me a shout out and I'll administer a little bit of uh, red neck medicine. I take this myself. It's fine. It's perfectly safe. Yeah, I'm not asleep at nights. So don't judge me. I see judgment. I see judgment. So, are you ready to go see him? Yeah, he's ready to see you. He doesn't get many visitors, you know? You're the first one I've seen in five years. All right. There you are. Oh, sorry, buddy. How you doing over there? Uh, my name's Yannick. Boy, we're here to talk to you about some technology you may have made a couple years ago. Uh, you know, before you went kind of... Listen, it's, it's very important. We have reason to believe that it may have fallen into the wrong hands and... Hello? Can you... I don't think you can hear us, man. Ah, uh, look, I don't think this is... Yeah, we should take our chances and find a sound rifter device on our own. Sound rifter? Yeah, do, do you remember it? Remember it? It was my greatest creation. That's great. Do you think you can help us find it? I mean, this is of the utmost importance here. Tech? No, he, he, they died! Nobody oh. calls me that anymore. Xavier, hold on. What, what's going on here? Who is he? After the explosion, Shadow went down first. I tried to get closer to him, but it was just too late. I heard screams, Simone. I had to go help her. Then I saw you. You weren't breathing. I tried to go check your pulse, but she called out to me again. 
It was too late for her. I was gonna come back and check on all of you guys, but there was another bomb and I didn't have time. You gotta believe me. I, I didn't know, Nobody Tech. Nobody calls me that anymore. I'm Walter. Walter Wright. My birthday is this Tuesday. I'll be five years old. I remember the day I was born. It was hot. So hot. I couldn't move. I saw my dad standing over me. I tried to call out to him, help, help. But I couldn't get the words out. He left me alone. I gasped for air. I gasped for air and suddenly I had energy. I crawled and crawled. I found a door. And then I heard this loud explosion. And when I woke up, I was here. Xavier, you're still alive. What are you doing here? Uh, no. No, no, Xavier, this guy is insane. Okay, I say you leave this Walter guy here and just go out. Walter? Oh, I think you must have met the other me. We switch sometimes without notice. Xavier, what? how are you? Is everyone else... Everyone? Scope? I'm sorry. I thought I lost all of you. It's all my fault. I should have told you. I should have never made the dolphin. The dolphin? The sound rifter. That's what I call it. My greatest creation. Why you call it the dolphin? Sonar. Sound navigation and ranging. Dolphins use it to travel, communicate, detect objects. Most people don't know the true power of sound. They think that sight is the most important sense. Poppycock! When I was 10, I hit my head skateboarding. Worst pain I've ever felt. Tests showed damage to my occipital lobe. My vision was blurry. I was seeing doubles. I thought I lost my sight forever. After surgery, they covered my eyes, and that's when it happened. I experienced life the way a dolphin did. I felt like Don Hune, the way I just- Who? He was an Olympic archer. And he was legally blind, right? But he ended up going on to win the gold medal. Every visible object emits or reflects light at some wavelength. That light enters the eyes and goes to the brain for interpretation. But every single object emits sound at a certain frequency as well. If we all take the time to just listen, we can hear these objects talking to us. Literally. Every sound, vibration, frequency. It was truly amazing being able to just listen. When I got my vision back, I was lost. I couldn't hear the objects anymore. It, it wasn't that they weren't talking, it's that I wasn't able to listen. The power of sight overwhelmed my ability to listen, so I had to make a device that could regain that ability. I spent years developing and perfecting this device. The dolphin was much greater than I intended it to be. 
I wasn't able to just hear the sounds. I could also manipulate them in any way I wanted to. I could I could take a sound and change the the decibels, the amplitude, the frequency, the, the wavelength, anything I wanted. And not just to that sound, but for any sound within a three mile radius. I discovered the true potential of the dolphin. I had to destroy it. I contacted Tanita and told her about the dolphin. We agreed it'll be best to store it in the Whitmore building for the time being. They wanted to run tests to see if a new source of energy could be developed. Before we could send it, I started receiving threats. And when I refused to sell it to them, the threats worsened. I turned to Simone for help. I told her how it works, what it does, and how to inactivate it. Worst case scenario. She personally delivered it Take to the care. Whitmore building. Okay, so how do you inactivate it? I created an activator chip. Without it, the device won't work. Tell me, ha has the dolphin been used yet? Oh, they haven't been able to use it yet. No, oh, she did it. Scope. After the explosion, we knew we probably couldn't leave with the device, so she went ahead to get the activator chip. She must have done it. It can't be used without it. Unless... Unless they manually override it, which can be done. In which case, the only way to deactivate it would be the activator chip. Was Volcroft the one who contacted you? No. It was a woman. I don't know who, though. I did hear Volkroft talking to a woman back at the, uh, his lair. Oh. This may be nothing, but... After I hit my head, a woman stood over me. I don't remember what she looked like. But she told me... She... She told... She told... <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's worse than I thought. I can't believe it. Yeah, that Walter guy? It's off his rocker. Excuse me. You say Walter? Walter Wright? Uh, yeah, you know? Agent X? You're that FBI agent. The Whitmore building. What are you doing here? Tracking the lead. I've been going after Walker for the past few years with no luck. Dead end after dead end. I'm looking at Charlotte's last cases. Charlotte? My partner. Volkrov killed her when he was trying to steal the sound rifter device. Then it hit me. I stopped looking for Volkrov and started searching into that device. Led me here to Walter. I'm here to question him. <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. <laughs> That's a dead end. Not exactly. You know, my last mission wasn't a complete failure. I was able to uh, plant a security camera in one of the staging rooms before I left. Oh, really? Uh, let's see if I can access the feed. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Something's happening. Agent X won't be a problem. Trust me. You let him escape. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. You had one job. Me? And what about you? Where's the activator ship, huh? What? Don't come for me, all right? I've already told you. Okay, God told me to look for a ring size chip. I thought that was it. Besides, it's not easy when you don't know what you're looking for. Yeah, well, lucky for you. It sounds like we won't need it after all. Doc found a way over Ryan. They'd be operational for about three days. Three days? Well, this better work. It's been long enough. I'm sorry, buddy. Truly, I am, but. But you're hurt, right? 
We only have three days. What are you, what are you smiling about? What, what is that? Oh, I see. You have a plan, don't you? Anything I can do? The FBI clearance. Can you use it to get into the old HQ in New York? Shouldn't be a problem. Why? What are you planning? I'm bringing back Nerf. A spit of iller than me is like the limit of infinity. It doesn't exist. His existence is as real as Ricky Ross bust in a split. My spit is like a simile to my knuckles and wrists. It hits him with the energy of a punch in the ribs. And gets the most jittery like a couple of kids on a sugary binge. Filling his stomachs with chips. Cause I'm coming equipped with the deadbeat flow. You don't want know with the kid. So just pack up and back up when I'm in the room. Or you get jacked up and smacked up like Ike beating who? Cause the pattern don't matter which rhyme scheme I choose. You get battered and smashed up. The crime scene's the booth And I'll strike V like lightning when I'm shining through The mic we like Siamese when I get into The psyche of a mic fiend who bites beats into Dividing and ooh providing the proof that I'm contagious Everything I'm on is ill and I'm honest Every single song is real, I'm uncommon Spitting the unconscious skill as Johns Hopkins Man forget the harvest feel, I'm a marksman I target garbage artists still I'm hotter than the sun, I know I'm calm and chill So don't bother ever wonder why they call me deal I'm a Monster and a slaughter with the cards I wield. My talent is my weapon, I'm armed with skill. My skill is my armor, man, I'm hard to kill. I spit that telepathic bro, man, he starts your feel. It's 28 bars, so you better guard Joe Grill. Okay. Look at all this. Oh, cool. You really are a secret agent, aren't you? <laughs> okay. So, got your gloves. Actually makes sense. Because if you do that, you go left. All the guards are down here. There's only one right. Wow. I'm surprised. It's actually a good plan. So, why am I here? I have a station set up for you. 
You can provide tactical assistance from there. Okay. Did you get everything? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, got, I, got, I got mostly everything. I just couldn't find a... Uh, hey, these things get smaller and smaller every year, huh? Uh, were you saying something? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Well, this is it, the moment of truth. You do realize we only get one shot at this, yeah? I know. It's time to make some noise. No. No, we're gonna have to work on that. It's time to rip some sound. Even worse. It's time to turn up the volume. Okay. Just stop. Listen, well, I'm not saying no mercy. Come on, why? It's a great catchphrase. to check it in. All clear. Xavier. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, no. Will you stop moving the camera? You look fine. Bomb is armed. Great Agent X. Go. 
Hey, stop moving left, okay? Let's see, hold on. Keep going. Okay, I got one guard patrolling the area. Almost there, come on. It's like a Sunday drive in the park. All right, I'm approaching the position now, Yanni. Stand by. Go, go, go. All right, I'm in position. Oh, wait, 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 no! What's the hold up? Okay. <laughs> yes, all right, uh, yeah. Down now. What? Yep, hi. How you doing? Yes, okay. You're done. What are you like? 30 years old? The guards are coming, on it. You have to blow the door now. Alright, copy that, Agent X. I'm blowing it now. Now, Yanni.
Good luck. You got this. I'll see you on the other side. Don't worry, go up to the sound rifter. I'll get both of the 
chameleon. So here I am, five years later. I'll never stop blaming myself for what happened at the Whitmore building. As a leader, I failed my team. But I have learned to move on. For as much as I've lost, I've gained positive experiences and friendships. Walter, Detective Clanson, Yannick, <laughs> I mean, Agent Y. Even my old boss, Mr. Sanders, helped me get through that rough patch in my life. But it's no time to get complacent. I've answered so many questions, but those answers just led to even more questions. Volcroft somehow got away. Camille's in jail. Donated 3,000 is still out there. And there's a lot more to the sound of the device than I was led to believe. But as long as I'm in possession of it, I know we'll meet again and I'll get my answers. I don't know who she is or where she's hiding, but I will find her. And when I do, I'll show her no mercy. If there's one thing in this world that I hate, man, it's ignorance. Belligerent, hypocritical critics need to seal their lips. They said I couldn't do it when I hit them with the lyricists. Sinister lyrics manifested into magnificence. Administering sicknesses quicker than epidemics did. Without listening, they dissed me and said only friends of his would listen to a skilllessness. The two cents from a nuisance is penurious. In other words, they're making little sense. How could they pay attention to words? I say and mention my lyrics, relay a message. But critics drop the baton and makes it evanescent. Dissolving on and on and deflates it as a lesson. Till all my hope is gone. Be Rated by impressions that I can never compete with Became so repetitive I started to believe it I conceded and succeeded for my dreams and they defeated And tried to shoot you down with somehow they kept breathing for thee Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to enter in the mind of a narcissist Who really thinks he's better than 90% of them He's spitting venom in the booth, nobody's sick as him His music is his medicine So tell a friend that the veteran is here again My fabulous flow was not the reason that I'm killing them Dealing them with cold bars, you can say I'm chilling them or fridging them It's showtime ladies and gentlemen if there's one thing in this world that I respect, it's resilience, the grittiness that it emits when you show that your will is best, okay, well I'm admitting it. I was Mr. Quick to quit, my confidence collapsed around me quicker than the Whitmore did. Witnessing your friends dead, I couldn't live with it, wishing it was you, but realizing there's no switching it. My passion just a little bit inside is unextinguishing. In other words, that fire is rekindling, like every start of this time, to be conscious and strive for the knowledge that made me the savior. My eye on the target, my main aim became to try to be the smartest, cause haste makes a waste of why me and Giannis campaign to save ya It's said to go off and placate the danger Tell Volkoff to vacate his layer They can't escape the Great Angel Savior 
Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to enter in the mind of a superhero who was on a second win. He caught his breath again, hit it with Ventus friends. He's ready and he's willing, now he's better than he's ever been. So tell a friend that the veteran is here again, fighting for the people cause he'll never let the villain win. Hitting them with lines of punches, you can say he's drilling them or kidding him. It's shut time, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, boy and girl, it's showtime. <laughs> it's the Nemesis. Long time no see. I see you finally decided to read my letter. Good thing it didn't take five years this time. <laughs> Who convinced you? Yannick? Detective Clanson? Don't worry. They're safe. Well, alive. Fuck off, you so unpredictable. You want something that belongs to me. Come and get it.